Nine Inch Nails, one of the most widely associated groups when it comes to industrial rock, have finally released their newest album. Now, of course, they've been on hiatus for like maybe five, four to five years when it comes to like releasing albums and shit like that. They released a killer EP, but of course, they are not one they are not the pioneers of industrial rock but it of course date back to the 70s with a person named David Bowie you may have heard of him and of course the David Bowie influence doesn't stop here because I think when it comes to this album it was heavily influenced by Black Star that's personally my opinion with its with its dystopian mix of industrial rock, jazz fusion, a little bit of jazz fusion when it comes to me, or just pretty much basically jazz itself, if you want to add that. But of course, I kind of think it's like a little bit influenced by David Bowie's Black Star, especially since he kind of like basically invented the whole idea of industrial rock when it came to his album low but that's entirely that's entirely can be put into the sideline but let's get into the track listing now of course on one of the songs off low i believe it had broken mirrors and now he has shit mirrors which, of course, is appearing on this album. And I originally thought that it was a slight reference to Trump because he name drops like terms like all right, which kind of sounds like alt right to me. But no, in an interview, they said, or at least I heard that this al- that this song at least was talking about being <clears throat> being fed up and alienated to the world which would make sense because they have a song like i am not from this world where it samples a lot of ideas of ufos landing transporting all throughout the um track of course and it also could be a slight nod to the whole immigration situation we're having especially since time put out that very classic uh, red cover of Trump looking down at the screaming baby. But I'm going to take the advice of the album and not get ahead of ourselves, which the album, it heavily talks about religion, kind of like David Bowie's Black Star, of course. But this time, getting ahead of yourself uh, talks about how humans might be getting ahead of their selves with the whole idea that God created them in his image and you're walking around as like miniature gods, of course, you know, and we have a whole white background. So it could be talking about the Eurocentric standard and belief system of God and how he created this person up like the European or so forth. And also Trump, he says that he is a Christian and he gets a lot of evangelical and right people. So yeah. But one thing I like about getting ahead of yourself is the distorted bass and beat that comes right with every verse, like a boom, boom, boom. Like, that's how I feel. It kind of reminded me of Triple X Tentacion and the whole early Florida movement, how they always had a distorted bass with them when it came to some of my favorite tracks. Like, like a song like Take a Step Back, which, of course, is one of my favorite um, songs off members only listing. Also, play that G damn um, song, play that G damn part, which I'm not going to use like profanity when it comes to the Lord. I'm a puss. But yeah, of course, that track has kind of like this tribal, like prehistoric beat drums 
or drum beats sprinkled with a little bit of what seems to be a saxophone. Please don't hate me if I'm wrong. All through all throughout the track, it it's like a very good instrumental track. Usually I'm bored with instrumentals because I'm more of a lyric guy, you know. But hey, this time I was not. It's a very good track. Now God break down the uh damned God break down the door could be a reference to the whole saying that every time God uh, closes a door, he opens a window. But this time he's like, no, close the window and break down this damn door. Like you're the feds trying to look for drugs, you know? Yeah. But the song has this kind of futuristic wobble to you. Like have this like little wobble sound that I really like, of course. And it could be a reference to that Bob Dylan track, uh, Knock, Knock, Knocking on Heaven's Door, which I thought was pretty cool. And here's a track that we already talked about, I'm Not From This World, which, you know, kind of could be a reference to how David Bowie sold the world, you know, on one of his earlier uh, albums, From Station to Station. Um, but the song really sounds like it's sampling like UFOs landing and transporting kind of like a 1950s gray alien coming to town and terrorizing you. Now, the last song off here is, of course, Over and Out, which is a killer like idea and song to end the whole album. It's a seven minute dystopian track about how you're wasting your life and how you could do better and time is always fleeting which I think is a good idea especially when it's the last track off the album but yeah I really like this like of course feel off the album and I'm not usually a nine inch nails fan but when they come out with very jarring and awesome music like this, I really get back into them. I'm going to give this album a 9. Please like, subscribe, share this video. And how did you feel about this album? Please comment below and I'm Audi 5000.